So I was playing around with it, I couldn't get it to spin up. And I think there might be something wrong with this meter, because as soon as I unplugged the meter, it started roaring round. And I know for a fact that this motor won't, will not uh, take the brake being put on very well. So what I'm going to have to do is wait for it to stop, uh, wait for the wind to stop and then connect the meter up again, see if that is the problem. You can see how it fo seems to follow the wind very well without a tail. This blade sure catch the wind. So I'm still waiting for it to stop so I can plug the uh, meter in. So, this is connected to one 12 volt battery, which means it will constrain the... Hey, and there's something, a little drip to begin with. So you can clearly see that the 12 volt battery is constraining the speed at which the turbine can go. And as those blades are more about speed than torque, one amp peak, woo! You DIY guys know how it is, it's just nice to see something. See the chain there, through that hole. See the blade adjustment, the uh, tower pipe adjustment device. It does take a bit of wind to get it started, but that was the whole idea of having the other sprocket on. Yeah, with a, a small sprocket at the top to a big sprocket at the bottom, just like with a push bike, it will make it easier to turn. I love those bearings, five quid each. Here comes the wind. Look at that. Beauty. Sorry, a bit shaky, guys. spin him round by the spoke holes on the outer ring so it's been on for about an hour I'd say and please remember the turbine is clearly constrained by the voltage of the battery uh, it's been stopping and starting I stuck my head out a few times and it's not moving and I stuck my head out now and it is uh, so the peak 2.3 7 amps I think. You can see it's it's done okay on the voltage of the battery although it's not a great battery so it will drop around to 12.6 uh, but it's saying the peak is 2.37 amps I think it said 35 watts peak 
1.141, uh, 1.8 watt hours. Woo! So now it's stopped. So it's not making anything. Gust of wind, trying to get started. There you go. It's not a bad angle, you can see the motor spinning around. Nice and stable there, it's slowing down again. And stop. Let's leave it on a second, see if it gets started again. No, not for now. It's just a close up view from the side. Just go on, go get started. No, Does need some wind to get it going. I don't know if it will benefit from a slightly tighter chain because it is pretty loose. Pretty good. It seems to be a little slack on the right hand side as we're looking. And the drive side seems to be fine, which is on the left as we're looking at the camera. It would seem like the angle of attack I've set is too high, uh, so I did put a nut on there, which means I can lower it down. So, what I've done is I've taken a bit of strain off the uh, guy wire on the back of the tower which means it's pointing a bit lower down if that makes sense it's a bit more uh, what's the word perpendicular rather than pointing up but that is something I can adjust and that's the whole point there you can see that flappy chain <clears throat> so that will have to be tightened up using those two bolts you can see the two bottom bolts and also bolt at the back so I don't know if that would make it harder to start or easier to start. That's the kind of thing I really don't know at the moment and it's all experimental. I did try the blades on the other way but it didn't seem to work so I put them back on this way and it seems to work a lot better and that's about as fast as it'll go when it's constrained by one battery so in its current mode we won't see it's been any faster than that but that will change because I'm going to disconnect the batteries and put the batteries in the shed so let's just have a 
recap what we got running this 12 volt off the meter.